I became interested in painting birds probably before I even thought of being an artist. My neighbor had an Audubon bird book, and I thought it was kind of a synonymous. If you like birds, you had to paint them. So I just started trying, and I'm a professional artist and a Sunday naturalist <laughs> because I've always liked the science of nature, but I've never put the energy into it to really be a scientist. I work harder at being a painter, I'd say, but I really try to be as authentic with what I do. I try to make it work so it's a scientific illustration. When I start, I just start thinking what would make a good composition and know the subject that I'm going to do. So I just draw, do a little drawing and, and uh, start looking at the bird and deciding the size. And usually I've already decided what kind of plant I'm going to put with it. Sometimes I actually spend several hours, maybe go away from it and come back to it. I'm always trying to set up the parameters for uh, the size. You know, I've done the same birds over and over again uh, because there are just certain ones that are popular. And uh, I always think I can improve on them by referring back to drawings that I've already done. I have a relationship with a couple of museums where I can borrow bird skins. Um, they're um, almost mandatory for the true color and texture of the bird and the leaves. I go out, I try to grow a lot of things in my own yard, so I um, have specimens. I kind of know where every tree grows that I might need. <laughs> I can just kind of go out, and, but I try to have a lot of them in my own yard. These are, this is the famous Indiana yellowwood tree, and it's uh, the tree that I decided I was going to use with a scarlet tanager, and uh, I'm just going to break off this little section of it. Not too much, because I love yellowwood trees. Take it into my studio and paint it, and uh, make it part of that painting. What I, what I usually do is find something in the plant. So now I've, I've decided that this leaf is going to be the, the, the main focus of all the measurements on this picture. I have to draw that foot in to, to make it uh, turn out measurement-wise, but then I want, has to go around and back of it, so I just draw it in. And then you can take your eraser and you pick up these highlights and you give a lot of dimension to the body. Pretty much everything I do is, uh, I finish it as I go along, and uh, I look at the leaves, and uh, when I'm drawing, I get really into the um, complexity of that particular part of the drawing. Well, after I've completed the, the drawing, then I make a very refined, finished tracing. In general, this is the key to the whole painting, this final tracing. What I do, I engrave this whole tracing onto my drawing board. And sometimes it's better to not engrave so many details. So uh, maybe I'll put one or two veins in, and then I'll draw them, just so I have a sense of what direction they take. I have to hold it down tight because sometimes it slips. If I don't notice it, I'll get feathers in the wrong place. <laughs> And then I'm mad at myself for letting it slip. And uh, if I get this last one in, I'm ready to go on to the next stage. Once I've finished my tracing, uh, I'm ready to transfer the drawing to the paper that I'm going to be painting on. And the process that I use is a. Uh, um, I use a piece of carbon paper that I've made myself so it doesn't have any oils in it and because uh, basically I'm trying to draw on this paper but it's so precise that I have to have to make a tracing. And when I transfer it, I have the tracing all finished and I use this stylus because it's, it's hard enough that I can uh, bear down and, and make a carbon uh, image on the paper but I have to bear down hard enough 
that you can see what's there because this is this is going to be the final part of my uh, so to speak the academic part of my painting and I'll just lift it up uh, one more time and show you where I've gone I see sometimes it comes up very light but I actually like it light because when it's all done I will go back with an eraser and pick up all the heavy because there's something about the graphite that uh, doesn't uh, marry well with the paint. This is my basic palette, and uh, this is this is the basic part that I almost I use on every painting, whether it's a blue bird or a red bird or whatever color. This is my underpainting palette, and I use this uh, as kind of an extension of my drawing and I start putting in the textures of the feathers and so forth with these colors. Actually, I do the matching of the painting uh, of the bird on the, pa on the painting. I don't do it on the palette. It's just glazing. Before I ever paint on the uh, painting, I always uh, check the color to see that it's not too uh, bright. So I can put a little bit of red. I never want to go too dark because Acrylic is a paint that you can't go backwards on, so you always have to be moving forward. I think it's a almost an obsession. Uh, I'm sure there's some innate talent there too, but uh, I think it's more of a, a learned skill. It's kind of fun to have an obsession that you get when you're 10 and you're still doing it. At, at, I won't tell my age. <laughs> feel about my artwork and their appreciation for it is that I want them to have a sense that they've seen that thing that I've done before and I've, I've captured it and they can relate to it and that they have a sense of connection in that sense that they might have had the same emotional tie to their uh, observation of it that I did. And if I can capture that little sense of, of a moment nature, stumbling onto a bird nest or finding a butterfly, and they have that same sense. I mean, and, and then you have this variety of people, too. I mean, I get a duck hunter that sees my paintings in the sights of a gun, you know. I mean, the, the way I tilt the wings or something, and uh, somebody else sees this wonderful little thing of a robin feeding its young, you know. So, I mean, it's... it's uh, Everybody's different, but if I can relate to them in that way, I'm, I'm happy. Mm -hmm.